Well, a freak accident killed a beloved volunteer fireman Sunday morning as he walked to church, Bible in hand. Troopers say 65-year-old Albert Frank Watson was hit by a car in Seminole as he tried to cross a busy Highway 90. NBC 15's James Gordon joins us now with more on the man who was known for his making the community smile, James. Now, as you all know, rural fire departments, well, they depend on volunteers, and Frank Watson was one of those volunteers. Talk to most anyone in the Seminole area, and they'll tell you he was one of a kind. A lot of people knew him, a lot of people loved him. And it was from this wooden bench that he waved at those who passed by. It was Frank Watson's bench. He sat here most days outside the Church of Christ. Ironically, he was right across the street where Watson was struck by a car Sunday and died. We initiated uh, CPR and, and, uh, and then uh, after that we did the AED, but uh, it was just, uh, it was a hopeless situation because whenever you know somebody, you, your adrenaline is, is pumping so hard. Everyone knows it was an accident. The driver stopped, no charges. Thoughts today are with 65-year-old Frank Watson's family. Friends say Watson may have had special needs, but he was a big part of the Seminole community. Fire Chief Kenny Ping and his daughter, Julie, remember a kind man who went out of his way to make others happy. Even yesterday, we'd have people pulling over on scenes that I really wasn't familiar with, and they were just crying and upset because they knew it was him. Watson was named an honorary firefighter, and he might as well have been trained because he attended every meeting and showed up when he was needed most. Frank was there. Um, Frank, he loved the fire department. He loved his church. He loved the community. Uh, Frank, he's waved at everybody that passed through town, and uh, He's just going to be missing this part of the town right here. Friends and neighbors came to remember today. We're just going to miss him. We're just going to miss the guy. Well, Frank Watson is survived by his mother, a brother, and two sisters, and the community plans to honor him as a firefighter. Now we're live in Baldwin County, James Gordon, NBC 15 News.